Hey everybody, Red Diamonds True Loyal back again with another video. Today we're reacting to Secret Diaries. Evil Mom has baby switched at hospital. This channel was requested to me, so this is the first video I'm doing from this Secret Diaries channel, guys. If you guys like this video and me reacting to this channel, I will react to this channel more. Just let me know in the comments, guys. Let's get into this. I could have had an abortion so we could have a normal baby later on. How much would I have to pay you to switch babies? What? Get me a healthy baby and the $50,000 are yours. Breathe in and push. We're almost there. You can do this. Just breathe in. One more push. Congratulations. You have a beautiful baby girl. Would you like to cut the umbilical cord, sir? Oh, no thanks. That's all you. You don't want to mess up night. We did it. I mean, you did it. We're parents, Cindy. Sweet little angels here. I'm really thirsty. Could I get some water? Of course, of course. You don't want to hold her, baby? No, you're right. There is something strange. She should be moving her legs more than that. Is there something wrong? Well, we can't know for sure until we run some tests, but her legs don't seem to be moving like they should. Are you telling me she's not going to be able to use her legs? Ma'am, please calm down. You've been through a lot. Yes, there is a possibility that your daughter might not be able to use her legs. They are moving a little. She might move them, but she will lose the ability through time. We're not sure yet. We will need to run some tests. She said that she'll lose the ability through time. But for now, she seems perfectly healthy. Perfectly healthy? How can you say that when she's going to be some handicapped freak? Handicap free. Ah, uh, she she don't like people with uh disabilities and she got issue with that. She don't want her child coming out like that. Cindy, how can you say that about our little girl? Right, how could you say that? She's not a genuine person. She's not genuine. Can I hold her now? possible we had monthly checkups and she was supposed to come out normal ma'am please calm down there are hundreds of undetectable facts see and i wish doctors and nurses when like their patients say things like that to them about their baby i feel like they should immediately get child protective services involved like who knows what she could do to the baby if you let her take the baby home and she just said all that about the baby doctors though we are not sure about until the baby is born you don't know for sure. Sorry, sir. I will need to get the baby back. We will need to get her first vaccines and then do our checkups. What a sweet little angel. Little Emma. We decided to call you Emma. Do you like it? Thank you, nurse. Nurse Grant. Yes, doctor? Please keep an eye on the mother while we're gone. She doesn't need stitches, but she's still bleeding. Understood. Cindy, you just gave life to a beautiful, sweet little girl. How can you call her a handicapped freak? Just because of an issue with her legs. Yep, I'm I'm gonna divorce her. Like you call my baby that, I'm taking the baby and I'm divorcing you. Isn't that what she would be? No. With or without the use of her legs, I love her with all my heart already. Don't you, Cindy? When you said you wanted a child, he's not fit to be a mother. Wasn't it to love it unconditionally, no matter what? If they would have only detected it early on, I could have had an abortion so we could have a normal baby later on. Oh, wow. Like, so if she would have known before she had a baby, she would have got rid of it. What? Are you saying you would have had an abortion 
and, and aborted this perfectly healthy baby just because she might not be able to walk? She's not healthy, Ed. She's disabled. Cindy. Wow. Maybe. And see, with the nurse dead in there here and all that, you need to get Child Protective Services involved because she need to have visits coming to her to make sure she don't hurt that baby. Like, I don't care if, if my patient is saying stuff like that about their own child, newborn child that they just had. Uh, now, now I'm concerned you're going to hurt the baby. If you hold her in your arms, your heart won't be so frozen. I just don't you understand your heart you. Won't be so frozen. <laughs> my parents are out in, the, out in the waiting room. I can't wait to tell them how happy I am to be a father. I hope you'll reconsider how you feel about this. All right, let's take a look at you, okay? Oh, good. Looks like your uh, your bleeding stop. Let's go ahead and get your pad changed. I can't have a handicapped baby. I just can't do it. Come on, she's not gonna be handicapped. She's gonna be handy capable. You'd be surprised. No, no, I wouldn't be. You don't get it. Yeah. I don't want her, and I would do anything, and I mean anything to. I would pay. Nurse? Hmm? How much would I have to pay you to switch babies? What? She gonna lose her job and this there's bet not do it. Like I'm gonna be so pissed if she does it, dude. Any baby. Any baby that looks similar to her but is a healthy baby. I'm sure you could switch up tags, couldn't you? I'm sorry, no, that that's I could lose my career over that. There's security protocols. I'll give you $50,000. I wouldn't be having that discussion with her. Look, her, her just saying, oh, I, I would lose my profession or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I feel like she's considering it in her head. She's thinking about it because she's very hesitant. I feel like if I was in her shoes, I'd be like, I'm not having this conversation with you. Like, I'm not doing that whatsoever. What? Pass me my checkbook, I'll write you a check. You cash it out, no questions asked. You get me a healthy she baby, she about to do and the money's it. yours. She about to do it. Are you serious? I mean, would your husband not figure out? Come on now, like, you already know she thinking about it. She said, are you serious? Look at how she acting. She, she want to do it. Something weird with the money, or? He has his own money. This is mine. We don't have much time. I know you don't get paid much here. And you do have those student loans, don't you? And you want a house one day. Get me a healthy baby and the $50,000 are yours. Wow. Elizabeth Brent is her name. That's the nurse name, Elizabeth Brent. 11 years later. That's from Elizabeth Grant. Well, you know, it's halfway around the world, but at least you made it here safely. I'm glad you're Dad, here. Dad, got some mail. Emma, you're home. Look who's here to visit from Australia. Leo. How's my favorite little princess? I'm great. Right. Had a few weeks off, and I bought you something. Whoa, this is amazing. Ah, uh, there's that smile I love to see. So tell me, how was school today? It was fun. You say you saved my butt in math class. I was so lost. She's a big genius. She understands everything. And she won a silver medal in her race last weekend. It's amazing. I don't know how she does it. Hey, I, I wonder if the girl she's talking about in school, I, I wonder if that that's the the real daughter of them. Yeah, you're gonna have to remind me. Who's Sadie again? Oh, she's Emma's best friend from school. Ah. Emma. Remind me, I still need to thank look Miss F Sadie's mom for the vegetables she brought us from the garden. She's a really nice woman. Ever since her husband passed away last year, we've been helping each other a lot. Oh, uh, Dad, this letter was on the porch for you. Who sends letters nowadays? Hmm. That's for his wife. 
because he don't know nothing about this Elizabeth Grant. Well, listen, let's just let's head on in, on, uh, guys. Come on in. Come on. Tell me, tell me more about your mind. Says this is from Elizabeth Grant. No idea who that is. Mom, you're home early. I'm here for just a second. I forgot my files. Cindy, don't you at least have time for a cup of tea? Leo's here. I'm sorry. I'm running late. I'll catch you guys later. But she running late too. It's all right, honey. She'll be back later. Okay. I'll just go to my room. Things aren't getting any better at home, are they? No. Cindy just works all the time. It's not like she has to. We're not poor. I don't know. To be honest, it feels like maybe she's avoiding something at home. And you're yeah, like it's 11 years later and she like acting, still acting weird. Sure, um, she's not having an affair? Pretty sure. I mean, she's always at work when I call. And I have friends who work in the same division. They assure me that she's always at work. I just feel really bad for Emma. It's so clear to me that she wants to have some attention from her mother, but Cindy doesn't seem to notice her. She's got to be blind. She rather, she, look, I'm thinking like this. She rather steal a child, somebody else's child out the hospital that isn't hers neglect them not show them any love because she doesn't want her biological disabled child mm. that's I probably why straight she away i just don't i don't understand why would cindy not want to spend time with her daughter emma's such a sweet kid yeah no absolutely and then i hate to find i hate to see that if the dad confronts her and she ends up saying, oh, I don't want to spend time with her because she's not my kid. So now you, you're you upset because now she's not your kid. I will be shocked if she did that because I would, like, I would start yelling like, dude, you the one that wanted to switch babies at the hospital. Now you mad because that's not your baby. <laughs> you remember when she was born? At the hospital, at first they said that there was something wrong with her legs and she might gradually lose the ability to use them. Cindy was so stressed. She kept going on and on about not wanting to have a paraplegic for a child. Anyway, they ran some more tests. Turned out they were wrong. Everything's fine. <laughs> I remember that night. You called me about five or six times with updates at every turn. Yeah. Hey, thanks for being there. Well, Cindy was relieved at first, but something happened. I mean, just shortly after, it just seemed like she didn't want to bond with the child. She wouldn't breastfeed. I was always the one having to change diapers, having to put him Dang. in the bed. She even could have taken... And that's because that's not, that's not y'all baby. ...maternity leave, but said she didn't want to. What? That's nuts. And with all the work that she did, with no maternity to leave, nor nothing. Yeah, that's all right. I loved every minute of raising Emma. That's why wow, I wanted to be that, a dad. That's, that's crazy. But with Cindy, she stopped wanting to be a mom the minute Emma was born. And so she became a workaholic. And let's just say, you can't have much of a relationship with someone who's barely there. I don't even know if she cares about us anymore. Uh-oh, you about to open that? I'll get to this later. Hey, I'm hungry. Let's go get some dinner. Let's get first. Yeah. Hi, hi, I'm home. Hey, for once you're home from work before dark. I'm sorry, I know I said I was gonna come home earlier, but I got another project and I just kind of, I know. you know. I know, Cindy. You always take on another project. Yeah but you wouldn't believe the kind of bonus they'll give me for this one. She cared more about what I do money. believe is how- She probably still paying that Elizabeth Grant girl. 
upset your daughter was when she found out that yet again, she wouldn't even get 10 minutes with her mother. I'll make it up to her. You've been saying that for 10 years. Last year, you didn't even go on vacation with us. And the year before that, wow. you went to the ho hotel the whole time and ignored us. Yeah, and who paid for that vacation? I did. Yeah. Well, what do you want from me then? What do I want from you? She ain't got nothing to say, I man. I want us to be a family. We've been drifting apart ever since Emma was born. When did you get this letter? I just showed up today. Emma brought it in. What? Did you read it yet? No, I, I looked at it, but I don't even know who Elizabeth Grant. Look, she was. She got scared. She like, oh snap! Like, I hope he ain't open it. It is. <laughs> Hey, what'd you do that for? It's just not important. Wait, is she just going to rip it and not? Hold on, what? So now I'm starting to think like, what if she never paid her? But then that would be stupid because if I was the nurse, if you didn't pay me, you wanted me to do something like that? Oh, well, technically, nah, nah, nah. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm a tell, you know, I'm a tell, but it's if she tells, she gonna get in trouble for switching the baby. So she can't tell anyway, cause she involved in it. So she probably, it's probably her wanting that money. Oh, how could I have been so stupid? You're having an affair, is that it? No. Look, if you're having an affair, just tell me the truth. You have to trust me on this one, Ed. I'm not having an affair. But no good can come from reading this letter. Cindy, I want to know what it's saying. Point, I just don't think I can trust you. I just can't. So you either give me that letter, or it's time for us to start talking about divorce. Okay. We'll get the divorce papers ready in the morning. You can sleep on the couch. Dang, she said, ain't no way I'm giving you this letter. Because she don't want him to find out what she did. So he just gonna be led to believe that she possibly could have cheated on him. Give me that letter. Hey! Give that back. Are you done? You wanna hit me again? Don't be shy, I can take it. You really are trash, Leo. What is going on? Oh, nothing, sweetheart. I'll explain tomorrow. Just go back to your room, okay? Okay. Good night, Mom. Good night. Ooh, she, oh, oh, I just can't stand how she treat the little girl. And, and you, you stole her, bitch. You stole her. And now you're treating her like crap. Sorry to deal with that, Leo. Uh, it's okay, Mike. It's all good. Look, I think we should just read this letter. Yeah, we gotta get into this. She probably, that's why she, that's why she made sure she left. You, it said you won't remember. Dear Ed Turner, you won't remember me, but for the last 11 years, I've not been able to forget the names of you, your wife, and the girl you've raised. My name is Elizabeth Grant. Dang, she coming out and about to tell her husband what happened, I think. The night your daughter was born, I was on duty as a nurse at your wife's side. That night, after you walked out of the room, your wife Cindy offered me $50,000 to switch your baby with a similar looking healthy baby girl. I didn't want to, but I couldn't turn down such a huge amount with all the economic difficulties I faced. I've always regretted what I did. This whole time, I remembered your name and the name of the mother whose baby I switched with yours. I recently learned that I have cancer and only have a few weeks left to live. I have to do what I feel is right and tell you the truth. Yeah, 
dead, so she about to die. So she she been living in regret for years. So she trying to get that off her chest before she go. Before it's too late. The girl you've raised is the daughter of a woman called Luna Foster. Luna Foster. She lives in your city. This woman has also raised your biological daughter. Oh. I'll write a letter to her as well to tell her That's the whole their story. Daughter. I'll make sure to tell her you were in no way involved in this and that the only guilty ones are your wife, Cindy Turner. And myself. I hope I'm doing the right thing now. Though I know it will not make up for what wrong I have done. My wow. most sincere apologies. Elizabeth Grant. We need to call the police. You're right. So wait, like, Elizabeth Grant about to die in a couple of weeks, so um, she gonna get in trouble plus uh, his wife. So let's see what happens. I need the police. She's still trying to pack her. Yeah, she wasn't fast enough. Where the hell do you think you're going? She's about to leave him and a girl anyway. She don't care about that girl. So I guess you read the letter. And you know about the baby. That's right. And the police are on their way. No. Cindy, how could you have done this? We could have don't been so be happy. Shocked. You saw how she was talking about the baby. Do you really want to know why I couldn't accept a handicapped daughter? Fine. I'll tell you. If you only met my family, which you haven't, because I don't talk to them. Dang, he's never met her family, dude. So he really don't know her like that. Like, he don't know her, you know what I'm saying? You would understand. I never told you about my sister, Meg, but she was paraplegic from birth. All my childhood, we always had to adapt to her. We couldn't go to tons of places that weren't wheelchair accessible. We could never play together. She couldn't play sports. I never had fun with her, even though my parents forced me to spend time with her. Wow, she was mad because her sister was I couldn't was play with out. normal kids because of her. I couldn't stand not doing what I wanted to. Like going swimming. They would force me to take her to the beach, but she would just be a bother. I Did wish she, she would just there? disappear. So I started ignoring her. Pretend she wasn't there. And when we got older, I eventually erased her from my life. Oh, wow. Uh, That's just so cold hearted, y'all. Like, I can never do my siblings like that. And it kills me that all this time she was acting like that to her sister and her parents never had to talk with her and set her down it was like look this is your sister you gotta love her like you know like it's a lot of families that sit their kids down and make sure their kids know that you gotta always stick together her parents ain't never had that conversation with her and that's why that's why i couldn't accept having a daughter who's handicapped and then and then it was like i couldn't bond with a new baby feel right. I couldn't hold Emma without thinking about the baby I gave birth to. Or That's why she act like that. So she always regretted it too, but you should have never did it. You should have never did it. You should have you should have just raised the one you had. Emma is not mine. And I can't pretend that she is. Being with her feels very you wrong. Did it. Chase the feeling away. So I buried myself in work and I try to ignore it, but nothing seems to work. Still, it's hard for me to understand how you could have been so insensitive with your sister, or, or how you could have pushed us away either. And poor Emma, you've shut her out completely because she's a daily reminder of the horrible thing you did. And you yeah. don't even know the rest of it. What's that? Her daughter. Her biological daughter. 
Who is she gonna hear? She was raised by Luna Foster. Her name's Sadie Foster. She's Emma's best friend in school. Oh, wow. She helps him. Wow, so their daughter is really... Aw, uh, see what I said at the beginning. I said I bet you that that's their biological daughter. Emma in math, English, history. She's Straight A student. She participates in wheelchair competitions. She's been in marathons. She's one of the top athletes in the school. I know her. She's a terrific girl. But would you see how terrific she was if you met her? When she was born, he knows you wouldn't it. even give her the chance she, she deserved. You weren't ready to love her the way every child should be loved. But every child deserves unconditional love, Cindy. Emma, wait! Sydney! Sydney! You're going to jail. The police ain't there yet? Ooh, she got hit by a car. Hey. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Can't say she didn't deserve it. I ain't trying to be mean, but hey. Hey, Cindy. Karma's a bit. Look, uh, you might not believe this, but. I'm glad you're doing a little better after your accident. Oh, no. You're going to jail. Yeah, I'll go to jail. You could have died. I could have. But instead, I'll never walk again. Look, I, I hate that all, all this has happened, but... Uh... Hey, and now she'll never walk, but hey, like, look how she treated, look how she was. She didn't like disabled people all because of her sister. And she turned her sister away in the way she treated her sister. And she gave away her uh, biological kid. Yeah. Hey, you know, this is, this is what it's come to, guys. <laughs> you should be grateful to be alive. I, uh, look, I just came down here to get you to sign these divorce papers. Be done with you. Don't get an attitude in that. You caused it on yourself. <laughs> so, uh, we'll be seeing each other at the, the custody hearing and the hearing for alimony as well, but I just wanted to ask you, do you want to see Emma again before they sentence you? I don't want to bring her down here if you're just going to ignore her. No. I don't want to see her. What about Sadie? I knew she was going to say no. I knew it. I knew it. No, I don't want to see her either. Wait, you, you don't want to meet your biological daughter? No, and I don't want to look at you anymore either. Okay, okay. <laughs> you caught it on yourself. It's really a shame, you know? Yeah. Sadie is... Uh... She's truly an amazing girl. Just go away! You know, you don't have to push. I want to, it's fun. Whatever. Can you believe that we're like, going to be sisters? I don't know. It's a little weird, but not really. I'm happy. It's a little bit weird. Oh, look. Oh, that's so sweet. He got together with her. Oh, that is so sweet. Strange destiny. That was well meant to happen. Well, don't you think? Oh. Hey, guys. Aww. What did you think about the video? Do you have a similar... I, I ain't gonna lie. That, this video was uh, good, you know. I liked it. I mean, it was messed up, but it, it was good. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.